The choroid plexus is a structure formed by evaginations or protrusions of pia mater into the brain ventricles. Pia mater is one of the three main membranes that envelop the brain and spinal cord, the meninges. The meninges are the dura mater, the arachnoid and the pia mater. Choroid plexus can be found in roofs of the third and fourth ventricles and in parts of two lateral ventricular walls. Folds of pia mater that make up the plexus are made of loose connective tissue and a great number of vessels, including fenestrated capillaries. Plexus is covered with simple cuboidal epithelium, which is continuous with ependymal glial cells that normally line the ventricular system of the brain. These epithelial cells contain numerous microvilli on their apical pole. We can sometimes appreciate groups of cilia that are involved in movement of cerebrospinal fluid. Junctional complexes are developed between individual cells, forming an incomplete hematoliquor or so-called blood CSF barrier. Choroid plexus produces cerebrospinal fluid, which fills the ventricles of the brain, central canal of the spinal cord, and circulates through subarachnoidal space. CSF is produced by a process of passive diffusion of fluid from fenestrated capillaries and also by active transport of epithelial cells of the plexus. Fluid protects the central nervous system mechanically against trauma and contains substances that are essential for cells like glucose and some proteins. Under physiological conditions, only isolated lymphocytes are present in the fluid. Cerebrospinal fluid is produced at the rate of about 25 milliliters per hour, replacing its total volume about 4 to 5 times each day. And because it's being constantly produced, any decrease in absorption of the fluid or an obstruction in the ventricular system can cause swelling in the brain tissue. This condition is called hydrocephalus. There is one more interesting structure in the plexus, which is called a cervulus cerebri, or simply brain scent. It's a basophilic structure with irregular borders and it's composed of mainly calcium phosphate. Concentrations of brain scent increase with age, so the choroid plexus becomes increasingly visible on X-rays over time. 